hi guys, FIFAN0511 here today with um, episode number 6, uh, no actually 7 I think one now, of my World Cup hybrid series. In, um, as you can tell by the intro of this video, today's match, well, two teams we're making a hybrid out of, is Uruguay and Costa Rica. So let's get into the team. In goal, we have uh, Fernando Mislera, 82 rated plays of Gareth Asarai from Uruguay. His key stats, 87 reflexes and 81 positioning. And he cost us 700 coins. At right back, we have Ma Maximiliano uh, per Pereira, 79 rated plays of Benfica from Uruguay. Key stats are 81 defending and 77 dribbling. And he cost us 22,000 coins. At right centre back, we have Diego Godin, 83 rated plays for Atletico Madrid from Uruguay. Key stats are 83 defending and 83 heading. And he cost us 800 coins. At left centre back, we do have Diego Lugano, 76 rated plays of West Brom from Uruguay. He that 78 heading and 76 defending, and he cost us 400 coins. At left back, we have uh, Brian Oviedo, 67 rated plays for Everton from Costa Rica, just suffered a double leg break in real life, so he will be out for World Cup. Uh, his key stat 76 pace and 71 dribble, and he cost us 1,000 coins. At right midfield, we have Uret Skaya, I think I say it, 72 rated points of Benfica from Uruguay. Key stats 86 pace and 75 triple in, and he cost us 450 coins. At centre midfield, we do have Gaston Ramirez, uh, 80 rated points of Southampton from Uruguay. Key stats 85 triple in and 79 pace, and he also has 4 star skills. His uh, centre mid card did cost us 4,100 coins, considering he's normally a centre attacking mid. At left midfield, we do have uh, Wallace, 76, uh, 66 rated plays for Portland Timbers from Costa Rica. He stats 80 pace and 66 dribble in, and he costs us 150 coins. At right attacking mid, the most expensive player in this team is, of course, Luis Suarez. 86 rated plays for Liverpool, of course, from Uruguay. He stats 90 dribble and 83 shooting, and he costs us 70,500 coins, but he does also have 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot. At left attacking mid, we have Brian Ruiz, uh, 81 rated, this is Fulham card um, from Costa Rica, he does now have a PSV card, but um, the team worked better with his Fulham version. Uh, key stats are 85 dribbling, 76 shot, 76 passing, and he also has 4 star skills, and he only costs us 500 coins. And up front, we do have Edinson Cavani, the highest rated player in our team, 87 rated, plus PSG from Uruguay, key stats are 84 shot, 84 heading. Also have 83 pace and he only costs us 4,900 coins. So um, basically This is for you. I've not used any of these players yet. So Yeah, um, we'll be playing an online single match of them and then at the end I'll do my team rating as I do every episode and just my favorite um, player kind of um as you're aware, the last video I put up is a brand new series, um, it'd be great if I could get some feedback on it, it is a Madden NFL series, um, it's not a content a lot of YouTubers do from England, because obviously it's an American thing, but I have been following it a little bit, especially around the Super Bowl, playing the demo a lot, so I thought I'd buy the game, and I'm trying to get to the Super Bowl and the team, it's kind of a series, so I don't know much about, I do know a bit about American football, but I don't know as much as on Madden Ultimate Team. So it's kind of a walkthrough for me as well and trying to give you tips as I play and yeah so I'll go check it out. So in our game then we have 83 rated Chem 100 team and wow it's another AP Bundesliga team. We've played so many of them this game. Violin Fella, Pixet, Hummels, Dante, Alaba, Mkhitaryan, uh, Gundogan, Luz Gustavo, Blaschikowski, Royce and Lewandowski. That is not going to be a fun team to play against with DK Lugano at centre back. Oh wow, I didn't realise it was that far in the clear. Go on, Wallace. Has he done it? Oh! Wow, a, an effort. Not a bad one. Didn't strike it over, we great. Oh, that's 1 0, Royce. Straight from that um, attack, really. And yeah. Always going to be tough to defend against him. Oh, great. 
Oh, 2 0. Again, this Diego Lugano is clearly my weak point in this team, and there's always a risk putting him. Okay, so our Xbox might just throw switch is pushing off a bit. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I didn't tell by on screen. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to restart another match. And if that, I'm free, well, whatever happens with that, I'm then I'll leave it there. Um, at the moment, I'd say this is this is actually an alright team, but in terms of going forward, that is going back. Um, Lugano is clearly a weak point. Um, those two goals, I'd say, were affected by him. Obviously, him trying to defend a front three such as Blaszczykowski, um, Lewandowski and Royce, that's never going to be easy for any defender, let alone Diego Lugano, who has 31 pace. There's a clip I probably won't include, but I managed to stop him somehow. Blaszczykowski literally went on a run. He was about 20 yards away from Lugano and he still managed to not pass him. And it was just, you think, oh, he is so quick, but at least some defenders would put up a fight. Lugano did not put up a fight in the slightest, which, wow, it's, it's bad when you have to have someone like that that's just not reliable defensively. Um, I am regretting putting him back there because I wasn't a bit of a toss-up, but... I was trying to I was trying to prove a point where the pace and defender really matters, and I think I've just proved it. But yes, yes, it does matter on all the team. It doesn't matter in real life. I mean, obviously, it helps and all that shit. But um, yeah, I kind of just proved that it really, really matters, and. That is why I think I should have got Sebastian Quires. I'm not saying that he's uh, Quires a speed dean by any means, because I think he's only got 55 or 60 pace. But he's a bit pacier, so it's a bit more reliable. It's in case you can't with defences like that one. So hopefully we can perhaps get in a game maybe a bit easier in opponent or a bit of a slower defence. Because he was catching me on the camera every time. There was nothing I could have done about it at all. This guy, apparently he's got a number of hybrid. Oh, he's quick. Come on. I do want a game. I hate that on my seasons. It's just the amount of people that quit. And they're not on my season online. Friendlies. They do quit ridiculously too much. And it is very annoying just to try and get a game. Especially on live country. But, right. That's it. Right. He did have 34 rated attacks, so I feel he might have a silver team or ratings have been fucked up. Skill. Oh, he has Wallison. Fuck. He has a Brazil team with Aiden McGeady, Jadson, Fernandinho, Ronaldinho, McGee, oh, and Wallison. I don't know how much Wallison is going for in this FIFA, but who knows? Comment would be great, but that is. It's not exactly the strongest of things, it's very skillful. <laughs> right, so 0-0, no, no, this guy has all game just been trying to do skill runs. Um, as you can tell by the team, in about 5 minutes he brought on Bernard and Tarat. So, that made, I think it's whole midfield and strike 5 star skills. But look, he has had 64% possession, just came out of run, but I've had to just counter-attack. Hence, I've had four more shots and four more targets. So, see, it'll be very interesting to see what the result is in this game. Oh my god. That is never a penalty. Oh my god, that just... He went on a skill run. I made a good tackle, won the ball, and... It's like the last left to win a West Ham. Oh, a penalty. If he wins 1-0, I'm going to be ever so pissed off because he went on skill runs. He just he doesn't deserve to win. Of course. Oh, right. Maybe not. Cavardi. Oh, right. Well, that worked. 1-0. <laughs> 
Slappy May says um, it's not a good goal, but his penalty wasn't deserved. I've had more chances. He's just gone on skill runs. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, one all is how it's finished. Um, it's... I, I don't think I've ever played a FIFA game that, that I've had to counter-attack that much. Oh, right. It's extra time. Right. I didn't know there was extra time in single matches. Suarez. Oh, what a goal that is. Um, yeah, 2-1. I think it's quite deserved. Okay guys, so it's half time extra time, we're two on up, twelve more shots, ten more on target. Um Yeah. That's all I need to say really. Again he's trying his skill and it just doesn't work for him, three one. Oh that's poor. 4-1 and um, yeah honestly he just goes for skill and um, yeah 4-1 may have gone some extra time just but if you look at the match stats look as far as shots on target as far as a 5 you only had 8 that's all you need to know on target 20, 15 shots more 11 more on target Okay guys, so I did actually, I, I didn't enjoy the match, but I did like the team. Um, I'd actually give it a 7.5 out of 10. Um, my favourite player by far is Edinson Cavani. He's strong, he's quick, he can dribble, he can shoot, he can head. There's nothing more you need in the striker. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.